That is music to my ears. So last year, we test drove the new Range Rover full size. And I gotta say, out of all the vehicles that we drove last year, that was at the top of my list in terms of, it's like the ultimate SUV. It's got capability, but not only that, it's the comfort and it's the power delivery. Well, today we are having a look at the Range Rover, it's almost the same one, except how do you get better than better? Well, you go bigger. So this is a Range Rover Autobiography long wheelbase. And uh, yeah, you get all the goodness of the regular Range Rover Autobiography, but just a little bit more. Let's just talk about what's driving this Range Rover, and that is a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. Yes, we are going pure V8 power. It does have a mild hybrid system in it though. Puts up 523 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque, matched to an eight-speed automatic transmission. And it just propels this thing so effortlessly. Zero to 60 in about 4.6 seconds, zero to 100 kilometers an hour, Add in, uh, another 0.2 seconds there, so 4.8. And man, this thing is just, it just floats because we have this great air suspension, which also you can actually adjust for access height, normal, or if you go off-road. Because remember, Range Rovers are synonymous with their off-road uh, capability, and this one is no different. Yes, are you going to compromise a little bit, uh, you know, for your off-road abilities because you're a little bit longer, a little bit, but let's be honest here. This vehicle runs about 200,000 Canadian dollars. Who's gonna take this off-road? No, no, I don't think anyone's gonna take, not for the first owner, that's for sure. Maybe the second or third generation owner will take it off-road, but this is all about being comfortable. It is like a monsoon out right now. You can probably hear the rain. Uh, we got Brooklyn in the back. We did some horse riding today. We're on these rough roads and we could care less what it's doing outside. Uh, you ride up nice and high, but just the suspension just soaks everything up. Here, I had a super hot, hot, hot cup of tea. And uh, on the road that I was traveling on, I know this road very well, I wouldn't really risk actually drinking that hot tea on the road. Um, yet, with this Range Rover, no issue at all. Now, if you go into the higher setting, you can get you know some really good ground clearance. There are so many different off-road settings on this. There is, there's, you know, even for going through water, there's rock crawling, sand, you name it, you have a, a locking center and rear diff on here, uh, hill descent control, all the aids to make this thing uh, basically go anywhere that you want in comfort. Now, speaking of comfort, oh my goodness, does Range Rover know how to make an interior? It's absolutely gorgeous, right starting from the steering wheel wrapped in this such a smooth wood. It's heated, of course. You have semi-aniline leather uh, on, on the seats here. They, there's so much adjustments on these seats. They are heated, they're ventilated, they have massage. One thing to note though, uh, the, the massage is only for the back. I wish that they had the seat bottoms that were massaging as well, but other than that, it, you know, the interior is just gorgeous. Uh, you have a 12.3 inch driver display, a 13.1 inch uh, infotainment screen, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, of course. Two 11.1 inch entertainment screens for the rear. Uh, these are all, this is all standard, by the way, on the autobiography. There's not a lot of options on this one. I think there's, a, there's the tow hitch and the, the basically the SV 23 inch wheels. Even if you don't go for the SV wheels, this comes standard with 23 inch wheels. Those, these are massive, massive wheels for a large, large vehicle, of course. Oh man, I just, I just love 
the sound and pull of this V8. It's just, it's, it's intoxicating. Absolutely love it. Uh, lots of storage. We have two glove compartments, one upper, one lower, and we have little secret compartments even in the middle console. If you lift up this middle console, there is a cooled box here. So you can turn that on to keep your drinks nice and cool. Uh, we have a large panel roof here. Of course, the second row, lots of room. Is there a lot of room back there, Brooklyn? Yep, okay, lots of room. Uh, the seats are power as well. They they go forward and back, but not only that, they power recline. Also, they power fold for you as well as the third row because this is a big deal. If you want all the utility and the comfort of an autobiography Range Rover, but you want to carry you know, some more people, whether they're kids or in-laws or just have a big family, this has the third row. This is a seven passenger vehicle. And that's a welcome addition for a lot of people, uh, for sure. And back there, power third row as well. If you don't use that power third row or use that third row at all, you get lots of extra room. And I do like how it has the, the clamshell opening large tailgate and then you have the the bottom tailgate that opens as well it's a nice place to get ready um i was getting some camera gear pouring rain right now and it just acts like a, a nice canopy uh, for whoever's under there so how much bigger is the long wheelbase well the length and wheelbase is about uh, just under eight inches or 200 millimeters longer and to make it easier to navigate something this large this does have four wheel steering and it is noticeable. It's not like the extreme 10 degrees that, that you see on some other vehicles, but it for a large vehicle, this thing does not feel so large when you're actually in, in a tight turning area, whether you're doing a U-turn or in a, in a parking lot at the mall or something like that. Uh, also, all the cameras also make it nice and easy as well. Fuel economy wise, you know what? We've been driving this almost 400 kilometers now and um, yeah, it's not gonna be the best fuel economy, but it was actually better than I expected. We're averaging 15.9 liters uh, per 100 kilometers, and that's actually not bad uh, for you know a week's worth of driving on a, a vehicle that has over 500 horsepower. Now, mind you, we're not towing anything, uh, but if you do want to tow, 3,500 kilograms of max towing capacity, which is really, really decent. You know, your average boat or anything like that, this will have no issue with that. Plus you can carry all your goods and seven passengers. That's where this thing really shines. Um, yeah. So anyways, uh, yeah, comfort wise, I just really gotta say, it's just, it's just a dream. Just the seats are so comfy. Everything is easily accessible and you, visibility is great. The only thing left is to take it off road, which we're not gonna do. But um, yeah, uh, last year it was one of the best vehicles we've driven. It's still early in the year for 2024, but I'm gonna predict this is gonna be right up there again because it's just, it's the same, but just a little bit better. That's it for our look at the new Range Rover Autobiography. If I had a couple hundred thousand dollars to spare and I want to carry seven passengers in comfort, this would be definitely on my list for sure. That's it. Cheers. Bye.